Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru. It is April 17th, 2024. I'm here for my Wordle and Quirtle of the Day and for Bat Appreciation Day. But I have a sister who despises bats, freaks her out just to see them. And in deference to her and everyone like her, I tried to come up with something very mild. So here's Lego Batman for Bat Appreciation Day. And I also had a hard time thinking of a five-letter word except for guano. I don't think it's going to yield as much, but I thought I would just try it anyway. I like, I like N's and I like G's. A, it's got a lot of vowels in it. Uh, yeah, I'm hopeful, but not expectant. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, it's a good thing my expectations were set very low. All right, so what can we do with this? We've got R, S, T, L, E, I, and sometimes Y. <sighs> what are we going to do with that? Um... So either style, I wonder if style is a word. It's got a good configuration, and it could be something like Old English for stir, or, or a set of stairs, right? I'm going to try it. I'm going to see if it works. I haven't, I used to read the Scrabble Dictionary. I haven't read it in a long time, so... Oh, it's a word. Ooh, hey, it gave us a lot, too. All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, back in the day, you had to read the Scrabble Dictionary just in order to come close to making half the points my mother would make in Scrabble. It was ridiculous. All right, so we have T and we have I. <sighs> We also haven't tried L yet. Oh, it could be tilde. Oh, it could be tilde. It could also be tithe. I mean, I don't know that the T and the I go there. But just looking at what this inspires by putting out a couple of letters here. Tilde, tithe. Um, what if we put the T over here somewhere? We've got an I. It could be, oh, it can't be spite. We've gotten rid of the S. Uh, plight, flight, blight, those don't work based on spelling. What if I do a word that starts with a T and an I and has, what if I, oh, oh, what if I try the word live? It would try to help us place the I and the T, although not necessarily where I think it'll go. But if there are two T's, it could give us a placement if it's tithe. Um, it also gives us an L. So if, if we get an L and the, the T isn't placed but the I is, that would suggest that it's teal day. Um, it could be lithe. If I try till day, would it give me tithe? It could be lithe. I was focused on the T, but we don't know if there's an L or not. If I do tilde, and it's not tilde, it would give me the T, and let's say it's tithe. It would give me the T and the I. It wouldn't give me an L. It wouldn't give me a D. It would give me the E, which I already know. If I try tithe, oh wait, would it give me live? If I do tilde and it gives me an L but it's not placed, it would give me, 
I don't know. I think li I think I want to try live. Out of all of them, I think that's the word that's most likely to be used if it's one of these three. I'm repeating this. Is there any way I can try a scout word that doesn't have the E but still has everything I need? I don't think there is. I don't think I'm going to waste my time trying to find something. I think trying live might give me the word in three. If it doesn't, it should shed light if it's one of these two. And if it's not, it should at least help place the I and the T or exclude them and give me a couple of other letters. I'm going to try it. It's not live. Oh, it's tithe. Okay, let me see. Could it be anything else besides tithe? Q, W, uh, we'd be trying the T, the H wouldn't work, the I and the E wouldn't work. Y, P, D, F, J, K, Z, X, C, V, B, M. I don't know of anything it can be besides tithe. <sighs> Got it. Okay, so I was wrong in saying if it's one of those three, it's most likely to be lithe. No, it was most likely to be tithe. There, proved you wrong, Susie. All right, let's go ahead and jump into Quirtle and see what we can do. I've got Fishy Budge Clown Tramp. We have got colon? I think so. Because we can't really blend if the L isn't next to the C. So that would mean the O would probably go there. And then we need another vowel if the O goes there. So we need to reuse that O. Colon. Got it. Um, sweet. Very common word used in this. S could go here. I could go here. T could go here. I don't see how to rearrange that. The T can't go there. Sooty? No. Sweet. Um, B, L, I thought blur was spelled with one R. I'm pretty sure it is. B, L, U, because we need a vowel in there. Blur, well, let's do this. See, it can't be R, R. Blurb. It can be blurb. Could it be anything else? Blurk, blurv, blurks, blurs, blurge, blurk. I think it's blurb. You can go here, R can go here, and we could have another B. Okay, and then we've got the U. That's nice. That got placed for us. And P. Wow, only vowels. Look at all of these vowels. Um, equip. No, because, oh yeah, we haven't tried the Q yet. Equip. Hey, we just had that as a wordle word, so that's probably why it was right there for me to grab. E can go here. We haven't tried the Q. U, I can go here. P goes there. All right, and that is it for me. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.